Question nine is all about sequences. It says, here's part of a number sequence. The numbers in the sequence increase by 25 each time. 50, 75, 100, 125. It then says, circle all the numbers below that will, will appear in the sequence. Okay, now what we haven't got time to do is keep adding on 25 to this first part of the sequence until we reach these. That will take ages. And also, if we make a mistake halfway through, any numbers that we write after that mistake will also be incorrect. So that's a really bad idea to do that. It will take too much time, and it's very likely that we'll make a mistake. A better way of doing it is to say, well, if we are increasing by 25 each time, the next number here would actually be 150. Then the next one after that would be 175, then 200, then 225. Then it would be 250, then 275, then 300, then 325. Now then, you should have noticed something by this point. You should have noticed that if we keep going up in 25s, the numbers are either going to end in 50, 75, two zeros, or 25. So anything that ends in 50, 75, two zeros, or 25 is going to be in the sequence. So what we need to do now is check the last two digits of each of these numbers. Well, this one doesn't end in any of those. So this one is not going to be in the sequence. 250 would be, but 255 wouldn't be. So that one doesn't. 650 ends in 50. So that one definitely would. So we should really be circling it. This one ends in 35. Well, that's not in the allowable digits. So this one doesn't. This one ends in two zeros which is there, so this one definitely does. And this one ends in 95, which again is not in the allowable digits. So this one doesn't. So there we have it. Two of the numbers out of the choice will appear in the sequence, 650 and 900. It's all about checking those last two digits.